Hi Aquarius, this is the third time I've tried to um, tape this reading. Uh, weird things keep happening with the camera, but anyway, I'm going to try this one last time. So I have shuffled the deck for you several times. I think I know what's going to come out, but anyway, what I was asking was, what is it that your person is not telling you that's bothering them. So, as you can see, there's something that's bothering them um, that they feel they have to tell you. Anyway, let's just see what happens. Show me what is Aquarius' this person not telling them about? What is bothering your person that they are not telling you about? I'm going to pull this a little bit closer. fire going in there. All right. So I think what's happening here is that there's something that they know here. I mean, they're seeing you being attacked. This person is being attacked. Um, or, or her position, his or her position is being attacked. They're having to defend themselves. Nobody is helping them. There are naysayers. These six sticks are people who are disagreeing. They're naysayers. Um, she might have been sneak attacked. Um, they don't like this. There's also an idea I feel like this person over here has the truth, has knowledge. I feel like this is your person. They know why. Uh, but this person, they're so busy, uh, you know, defending themselves. They may not know where this is coming from. And I feel like over here, your person, there's an idea of them sort of having knowledge spying on you, frankly, and not really spying, but knowing the real truth about why, you know, people are attacking you or why, and, and I feel like they, they're not telling you about this. Show me more, please. Yeah. Now, what's happening here is that something related to this is about to come out in the open for all to see and they can't do a thing about it. They can't do a thing to prevent something coming out in the open. They're powerless. They may be sticking their head in the sand. Why, uh, why is it that they feel like they can't do anything about something Becoming public knowledge. Why? Why do they feel restricted? Because they won't be here? Uh, some kind of uh, something may have failed, something may have been lost, or um, they may be lacking resources. This five of pence, though, is related to a two of cups. They may have left some kind of a partnership here. Or a partnership failed, or, or they simply won't be there, or <sighs> clarify, okay, clarify the two of cups and the five of pentacles as to why they feel powerless to prevent something from coming out in the open. 
I feel like they're not going to. There may have been a plan. I mean, there's something so powerful here. The world and the tower. Something here has gone very wrong. There's, there's an unexpected event here. It's related to the completion of something. So I feel like there's an ending. They may be traveling, going overseas or something, but I feel like this is a plan, an ending, but there was there's something unexpected in relation to that. It's very overpowering. So it uh, the reason why they may not be able to prevent it from coming out in the open is this is huge. There may be, a, I mean, there's the, a crown is, there is a castle here, a tower coming down. And do you see the crown? There's a crown that's falling here now. That. So there could be, this could be a, a government organization that has done something very wrong. And it, it could be such a scandal that there is absolutely, somebody may have uncovered something that was wrong in this building. They may have been working for this organization uh, so that could be why um, they're going into the Five of Pentacles because this organization failed. Their funding may have been cut off if they were, if they were spying on you. If it was funded surveillance or something, there's something is crumbling, coming crumbling down. It, it the reason why this is happening, of course, is the tower is built on a very faulty foundation. So whatever was happening here, it was defective from the start. So it has to come down. Uh, and it, so they may actually literally be going overseas so they don't have to be associated with this. But yeah, look at this Two of Wands decision. Look at the guilt that they feel this may be uh, and this may end up on television on the internet here someone's the world <sighs> is something on the internet show me more okay this whoa So in relation to whatever is coming crumbling down, I mean, this may be some kind of a partnership that they may have had with somebody. They, it may have, you know, it may have evolved into something romantic as well. So that, that could also be being exposed. I feel like um, not only is... A, you know, a faulty foundation, a, a project being carried out by some kind of powerful organization. Not only is was that defective, not only is that being exposed, but to boot, your person may have been working for that organization and may have been working with this person, may have become romantically involved with them, and that amounts to a huge betrayal to you. So this is also being exposed, you know, some kind of opportunity that they were taking. Everything is not fine. They've been telling you. They've been, not, no, 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 I know what this is. You know what I think is going on here? I think that you bloody know about this. I, I, either you know about it or your intuition is tell, I mean, they may have lied, 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 lied to you. You may have asked them. They may have lied over and over and over to you. And I think this person has put so many swords in your back. You're so used to them um, betraying. 
that literally it's no it literally uh, it doesn't even hurt anymore you know because they've done so much uh to hurt you 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 could you you may literally have developed some kind of immunity you may be getting you this person may have stressed you out so much that you may be getting acupuncture treatments here um i really think that they have let you down so much that you just don't give a darn anymore yeah they're expecting you to be angry well dream on i, I don't know i mean i'm you know i'm sorry if i'm not speaking for you but i just get the impression that you're so done with this yeah because speaking of lying you see here i feel like this is you now i feel like so you might be a card reader you might be very intuitive here um you might have gotten a reading online maybe you're part of maybe maybe you and i read this whatever's going on and you got some of the information from a reading so i feel like you know you're like Oh, yeah, there's the tower. I knew it was coming. And they've been lie, 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 lying. So I feel like you're just, you know, I feel like this is not, it, you know who this tower is really going to impact is your person. You know, they can't hurt you anymore. They just, you can't be hurt any more than they already have. You've developed a very thick skin here. Um, and good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. And speaking of which, so I feel that, you know, all the lies, so two things about this. The lying is just, I feel like this person, you know, may say stuff like, I never lie, or no, you know, I'm not seeing anyone else, or whatever, or you're crazy, of course, whatever these um, morons say, um, these people who convince themselves of what the truth is. And I feel like you're just like, oh, my God. And you're gone into four of swords mode. In other words, I feel like, you know, where you might have used to, you know, check your cell phone every hour to see if they've texted. I really feel like you don't even care anymore if your phone is even on. And this is very significant here because I feel like this person used to be very significant to you but you know if for the if somebody is cross watching here and you know you've done this to Aquarius this is what happens when you let somebody down who really loves you when you let somebody down over and over and over and over and over and over what happens is after about four years no joke I, after about four years, they will build up an immunity. And the reason why is, the reason why is because they loved you so much. And, and, be, and because of that, it is extremely painful when someone that you love betrays you. So th this is literally physically even physically and mentally it's a defense mechanism um you know of the brain the body the heart it's not that they don't love you cross watcher they do but you cannot shake them anymore and it's your fault it's your fault you know show me more please Because, cross watchers, sorry, Aquarius. <laughs> There's Aquarius there. Just, I want you to look at how calm this person looks. A second up. She's calm. Very calm. And, um, you know, she's just there. She's almost, it looks like she's shutting the computer down. And she's not surprised, you know, she's not surprised. You know what she's looking at, cross watcher? This nonsense the game playing you know the 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 you know talking about you know gossiping about people you know and 
who hired, you know, what fancy, um, you know, decorator or lawyer or whatever, and who built, who just moved into a mansion and who, this is all crap, you know. Feeling sorry for yourself, Crosswatcher, because you feel that some of your friends betrayed you when you were doing ten times worse to Aquarius, thinking that it's the end of the world, you know, that something bad has happened to you, you know, when, when there are people, you know, actually suffering in this world, and you are so selfish here, holding back, controlling Aquarius all the time, what's under here, Crosswatcher? Yeah, look at this. This is your twin flame. This is your twin flame. This is how kind this person was to you in the past, you know? Kindness. All right, um, I'm going to stop talking to the cross watcher. Aquarius, show me more. Show me more of what your person, what's bothering your person that they're not telling you about. What is bothering your person? Sorry, I'm going to have to do this again. What is bothering your person that they're not telling you about? What is bothering your person? Yes, yeah, speaking of the Six of Cups. Just a minute. Just a minute. Clarify. Clarify. Better not be justice and no child. Jeez. Show me more. Uh, clarify uh, Six of Cups judgment and the Queen of Wands. I knew it. There's Queen of Wands again. And now I just want to clarify that. Clarify judgment, please. Look at this on here. All right. So I'm going to tell you what this is. I'm going to give you a couple of examples. In the past, on top of everything else, in the past, while you were being so kind to this person, you know, in the past, there was a very toxic karmic. And th this is the kind of thing that she was doing. But your person knew about this and may have even not only agreed with her, but asked her to do it. Could be spell work. It could be vandalism to your car. It could be theft of money. It could be um, breaking into your computer, uh, making, putting up disgusting posts. Uh, what do they call it when people are um, gang stalking online? Uh, I have to remember the word. Just a moment. You know what I'm seeing with that judgment card? I am seeing cyber stalking. I'm seeing somebody posting mean remarks, somebody um, maybe even publishing or manipulating, you know, pictures of you or photographs and then posting them. Um, you know, somebody, that Queen of Wands may have made, in fact, she did. There, uh, there is, I'm seeing a fake, uh, some kind of a fake profile or a fake social media account. I'm feeling like you might have a platform here, and I'm seeing this, this woman, this jealous, vindictive woman, making a fake profile and posting hateful remarks, you know, like, um, criticizing you. Um, I know who you are. You're the, just absolutely 
you know, and trying to, it's cyberbullying, I think it's called. So they, this is somebody who was harassing you. They, I, I'm also seeing uh, vandalism. There may have been damage or, uh, to your vehicle or theft. I'm also seeing somebody trying to, uh, you know, maybe they tried to hack some of your accounts. They may have sent you videos or something, or they may have gotten into your person's phone. There's definitely, I'm seeing Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, somebody, this woman. And the thing is, your person, just look at your person looking over at her. Now, your person is a dodo head because I think the reason why this happened, why this was, this may have only gone on for a short period of time, maybe six months or something. And show me how this happened. Why was your person acting crazy, acting like a crazy person during this time? Yeah, because she got this person all angry because they were, you know, I feel like this is your person, the emperor. But look at this. Look at what this queen of wands went into. Just look at how violent this person looks. They allowed themselves to be controlled by somebody. And so this person can get your person angry. And they don't have any feelings. How did this happen? Why, um, why was Aquarius' this person allowing this to happen? Verify that I think I know what this is. Yep. Because I'll tell you exactly how this happened. The Queen of Wands here, this is some sort of a, a message that, you know, she or something that she told your person. I mean, this could be something, you know, over here that she said somebody saw Aquarius doing, you know, that somebody was coming toward Aquarius and that you were, you know, seeing somebody else along with your person. Uh, show me, clarify again, what is temperance? How did, how did your person become so angry? Yeah, it was something that this toxic empress handed your person. Clarify, what did this toxic empress do? What did she do? Show me the, okay, this, uh, Yep, yep, yep. So I feel like she told your person, um, you know, that you have a brand new opportunity, that it's over, that, um, you know, and there's, she may, might have said that you were having sex with somebody, somebody else. She might have said something even worse. But they, you know, they believed her, so they may have gotten angry with you. What, um, assuming this happened... How did Aquarius's person feel? How did Aquarius's person feel? Yeah. Um, so they may have felt like you were devoting yourself to somebody else, like you had, like you had made a choice to put put all your work into somebody else. Um, and how did Aquarius' person feel? Just trying to figure out. Yeah, a, a very emotional. There could have been an emotional outburst here. Um, yeah, by the ones. So I feel like uh, what happened here, I think, is your person didn't know how to handle their feelings. So what happens, it's the same thing as when somebody doesn't know how to let... You know, I mean, this is a very extreme example here. Um, this is not what this is, but I'm just going to give you an example. When you see these tragic stories of um, people who have murdered their spouses, 
and um, and you, and you, people always say, why didn't they just get a divorce? And people talk about, oh, it was the money. No, no, it's not always the money. It's that some people are so mentally ill-equipped to handle disappointment, they don't know how to let people go. So they're, the fear in them says to them, well, I don't know how to let this person go, so the, I, I'll, I'll fix it so that I don't have to, so that they're, they're not here. Then I don't have to let them go. That is, the fear can actually overtake people. Um, and that is why, by the way, it's a very good experience to have experienced heartbreak like this. Total, absolute desecration. To, because when you have gotten through an experience like this and you take it, you know, you take it very calmly and you don't overreact. It, you know, even though it hurts. Look at the immunity that she's built up. Look at the, what this person can tolerate. Not that I recommend that someone keep working through, uh, you know, an intolerable situation, but this is somebody who can actually still function, go to work even, um, when they are, are facing extreme betrayal. Uh, they might go home, you know, and have a few hours of crying, but they can function and no one would know what she's going through. But, of course, your person probably is a bit spoiled. Um, your person might have a, a mother that spoiled them, you know, refused to, um, you know, didn't want ever to see them lose or, you know... This is a very, very bad way to raise children. But anyway, because, the, you know, you end up with somebody who acts like a child for the rest of their lives. So, of course, you know, instead of um, letting you go or being unconditionally loving like you are, uh, they start a big fight. This, I mean, this is a violent, this is a violent group here. That's violence. That is not the original meaning, by the way, of the Five of Wands. But this is a group of gang-stalking um, criminals here. These are people that pour sugar in gas tanks, slash tires, um, throw these, you know, Molotov cocktails through people's windows, cyber-stalk you know, attack for no reason. They have absolutely no depth. Those people are spiritually inept. And that that's the karmic. That was the queen of wands. That's who your person, and you know why your person, look at her. That's who your person, just look at that. Look at that. That's who your person gave the gave their cup to, you know. Probably because, probably because of sex, you know, maybe they had a sex addiction or something, or this person may have hired somebody to do spell work or something. It's possible. Meanwhile, she might be making you out to be um, you know, a witch, you know. All right, so show me what your person, what is the action that your person is going to be taking? Oh, God. Yeah, see, this is how your person reacts to rejection. Violence, you know. So... I think here, though, I don't think that's you. I feel here, this is anger that your person has. Oh, no. This is the karmic. Um, somebody, okay, who is in the Knight of Swords here, please? Because you need to know about this. Who is in the Knight of Swords? Oh, you know what? 
Um, I don't think it's violence. I think it's anger. I think your person, here they are back again, having this realization that this money, this giant pentacle or whatever they thought, you know, whatever, of whatever reward somebody was offering them, it's, it, it, it's, it just, it was glitter, not gold. It, it, sure, it had a glitter, but it's, but it was fool's gold. It was fake, thick, 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 you know. They, they picked cheap wine when they could have had holy water. It's over here. Yeah, that's, they're realizing the truth. And they're angry about this. All right, so what is Aquarius's person going to do? What is the action that Aquarius's person will be taking? See, they may be under some kind of a law right now. They may not be able to get out of, of the, you know, they may actually be, this person is, is not speaking they may end up in some kind of a witness protection program. No joke. Yeah, they're not happy. That's for sure. They may be stuck with that. They are absolutely not happy. They could be going overseas. And good riddance to them if they are. Anything else we need to know? Yeah, I, I feel like you're done. And I feel like, you know what? The whole time, they thought that you didn't know this stuff. Look a little bit closer, though. Just look at the look on her face for a second now. She, there is a little bit. Her, her lips are sealed. I think she, I think that was you and you did know. Um, you know, and I don't even think you have to um, drop any of those swords, at, uh, on, you know, on anyone. I think you're going to, okay, there's a couple, yeah, there, because there you're going to stand back and watch the tower. There's you. Watching the tower, you might see it online or something. And over here, I think that your person may be over here, stuck in some faraway city, not allowed to move. Perhaps they are in witness protection. They've got a lot of money. They've got a lot of money, but they're sitting on a cold, hard, concrete bench with this yucky karmic. Look at her tattoos and everything. Sorry, I know most people have tattoos. I don't know why, but this, I just don't like this person here. You know why? Because she says, I don't need to hear you. That's what she's saying here. I don't need to hear you. What I say goes. Look at her freaking tiara there. You know, the, the keys to the golden gate there. This is a pompous person, you know, and she likes, she's actually managed to get two people down there to worship her as long as she has somebody worshiping her you know she makes her feel important manipulative as all hell look at this five of pence your person may be rich you know but they feel very empty inside anyway and you're looking very calm you might be in a, some kind of a cathedral or chapel or something. Look at this beautiful window. I don't know where you are, but it's maybe in a mosque or something. There's some really gorgeous looking furniture there. You might be redoing. You have a nice stable job or you're, there's a stable offer. Look at you. You might be, um, you know, doing some kind of horticulture or something. This person is in the nine of pentacles that everybody wants this. This is the it girl. Everybody wants this person. And but you're looking back at this here, saying no more, <laughs> absolutely no more. Yeah, and I, that's what you're looking at there. You're looking back at all the hell that you went through. You knew the whole. You all you did was ask for the truth, and you you never got it. But I feel like here you might have been. You might be looking back at you saying, "Isn't it true that?" And you might have predicted all of this, and your person said, "No." You're crazy. You're nuts. Go, you know, check yourself into a mental institution. Well, now they're, they're, they're the ones, <laughs> you know, who need to check themselves in. Aquarius, um, let me get a few messages from your person. Sorry this was so long. One moment. 
I'm going to let these pop. What does Aquarius' person want to say to Aquarius? What does Aquarius' person want to say to Aquarius? What does Aquarius' person want to say to Aquarius? What does Aquarius' person want to say to Aquarius? What does Aquarius' person want to say to Aquarius? That's enough. <laughs> I'm working up the courage to contact you. It's going to take a lot of courage. Yeah, telepathic bond. Twin flame journey. See, this was probably your twin flame. Remember... The point of the twin flame journey is to spiritually advance as much as you can. And the other person, it is not union. Uh, I mean, it is not the main union. It, it, you know, can be possible sometimes, but sometimes it's not the right time. I'm battling inner demons. I'll say, I think the world of you, yes, they certainly do. I love you. See, that is the sad part about it. They really do. I want to work things out well. Raise the bar high, Aquarius. Um, you know, anyway, you guys know what to do. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if it resonates.